making some menudo this morning. First time I'm ever going to try it in a pressure cooker. It's going to be interesting. Normally it takes about three or four hours to, to cook, but we'll see in this pressure pot whether it take less than an hour maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But this stomach lining, it's scalded and cleaned real good. Still has a little odor to it, but that's what you get when you mess with gut. But really, see that's just a big old stomach lining. I used to, uh, we had a place there in Kingsville um, a few years back. It was a, a Mexican store, and uh, we used to go in and I would get this already pre cut into little squares. They had different kinds of the trite or the stomach, I should say, stomach lining. Trite, I mean, they, they put tripe on here, I guess, just because it's stomach, but the tripe itself or the intestines, and uh, <clears throat> it's what we call tripas. And, um, we would cook those either on a grill where they're good and crispy or or put them in what we call a disco which is usually made from a an old plow uh, disc and uh, they would take them and put them on a stand and weld them they would uh, put those what we call three plus or the trike the intestine in the uh, the disc and get it good and hot and the fat inside of the intestines would would uh, leach out and uh, or render out I should say but anyway it uh, would fill that disc up with its own rendered fat and cook it within itself and oh man it was so good and we'd have some corn tortillas we'd throw down in the disc uh, and fry the, the uh, corn tortillas uh, lightly in its own in that fat it's really good but uh, anyway I'm gonna finish the rest of this and I'll get back with you well, we'll get down to the very last bit. Um, just like I said, just cut them in oh, an inch or so squares or rectangles, it don't matter. Just cut them up. They're very, very tough. You can imagine the lining of the stomach has to be probably pretty tough, a lot of acid and stuff, but um, you normally we have to cook it three or four hours and uh, it'll tenderize enough for it for it's really good. But um, I'm hoping, like I said, in this uh, Instapot, it uh, make things a whole lot easier. Jinxie, whoop, that's that one. As you can see, there's, it's all chopped up. Um, as you can see there, it's just squares. 
So, anyway, I'm going to put some water in it. Just enough to where it will uh, be right over the top of the meat. I don't want to add too much water this time. Because it'll probably expand. Just covering the uh, the meat, if you want to call it meat. <laughs> anyway, it's um. Uh, I still think it's gonna be good. It just cook a whole lot faster than normal. Uh, go get an onion I'll be right back all right I got me an onion I'm gonna cut up it just makes it good get some good old onion in there let it cook down good they'll almost disappear all right and then I know when uh, Melanie was making that uh, cheese dip for Christmas she uh, I think it was Christmas whenever it was she said man I normally would put garlic cloves in here but I didn't have any garlic cloves and I said after it was all said and done and uh, I said well honey we, we do have some garlic <laughs> I buy it by the jug in order to cut so I'm just going to estimate a couple of three or four cloves And normally I cook this for a while before I put in any of the seasonings, but I'm going to let it put seasonings in now. So what I normally do is, for one batch, is I usually get a bag of this. It's about two and a half ounces or whatever, but uh, I usually pour that in there. Just gonna stir it up a bit and uh, yeah, I just use this ladle since we're gonna be using the ladle later anyway. So I'm gonna give it a little toss here. Like I said, I've never used the instant pot making manuga before. So it'd be interesting. But this um Manudo um, has a, the seasonings are very, very bright red. Um, as you can see right here, it uh, has that light color, uh, the red. So I'm going to let that cook into it and we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do now, since I have all that stuff in... This thing in, turn that. I'm going to pressure cook. Okay, there we go. I'm going to pressure cook. I'm going to put it on about 35 minutes. Yeah, it'll go a little bit more. 40 minutes, and I'll check it. 
See if the meat's tender. If the meat's tender enough, um, I'll add whatever other seasonings I might need to if I have to add more salt or anything like that. Probably not. I put plenty in there, I believe. And uh, I'll cook this down. If it comes out tender or fairly tender, then I'll add in my two cans of hominy and uh, cook it again for another five minutes maybe and uh, let that really infuse all the flavoring inside of the hominy and things like that. So, time to tell. So we'll see you after a while. Anyway, I... Um, Coming back to check, I put it on 40 minutes, so we'll see what it's going to do. I'm just not real sure if it's going to be tender enough, but we're hoping it will be. So I guess we'll keep checking back. Just turn this off, open it up. I had it run for a total of one hour, and it seems like they are tender enough. Um, they still have a little chew to it, but they're they're good. Um, so now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, some drained cans of the hominy. There's two of them. I'm adding in there. And then I'm going to give that a good stir. And uh, yeah, it's coming along. And I want to put this back on and I want to cook it additionally probably another five minutes just so that it will infuse the hominy with the juices so anyway I'll check back with you well I made it eat it made the menudo though it um, can y'all see I don't know if you can see it or not but no, probably have to move the camera in a minute. You can see Dad's right in there. Okay. So I put some cilantro and some onions in mine, and uh, a little bit of lime juice. Lime juice, and then we cooked up some some uh, corn tortillas on the stove top. It's the only way to go. Like that, you can toast them kind of like mm. and buttery. And they are good. And then saturated with butter. And dip. Yep. But this is good on a day like today where it's just cold and cold rainy. and rainy. Nasty misty. So So I'm not all into the trite, the stomach gut and all that. The soup is supremo. I love hominy. I love the toppings on it. Now I'm gonna taste the meat just to see. It's okay. Is it tender enough? That's what makes it good. It's so tender. I mean, really, I don't. I would never know that is what it is if I hadn't seen you doing it. it tastes really good. That's coming from a little girl from Alabama. I've never heard of it before. But many years. All good food. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's really good. Well, you used to always say breakfast of champs. Oh. Um, I think the old thing, too, was if you had a hangover, you eat new though the next morning. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's, um, normally, it, it, it takes about three and a half, four hours to prepare a good pot of menudo. Sometimes longer. depends on how long you simmer it. But, um, I think the quickest I've made it was like four hours, three or four hours. But uh, this is the first time I've tried the Instapot, and um, it took a total of 70 cooking minutes. Um, that's taking it apart, uh, sampling it, spicing it up a little bit more. I uh, cooked it for 40 minutes first time. Wasn't tender enough. Put it back in there for 20 minutes. And then um, open it up. Added the hominy and some salt and right. Added that 
and then uh, the hominy and then cooked it for 10 minutes. It turned out pretty good. It's really good, honey. I think it's some of the best you made. Mm. And cut. So, see ya. Do you want to get a close-up of your um, food in your bowl or not? Of course, Dad will edit all this out. Yeah. <laughs> that is mine. It's good. The Melanie's. And Matt's. So anyway. Thanks for watching, y'all. And if you want any more um, weird and crazy things for George to cook, just let us know. He can cook all kind of animal parts, can't you, George? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I could cook everything but the moo. <laughs> anyway, bye, guys.